This little white cotton ball looks like it flew straight out of a Miyazaki movie. Though it may be hard to believe, it's not a cartoon character. Unlike their gigantic relatives, the golden-crowned flying fox of the Philippines, the Honduran white bat, is bite-size. But don't bite them. Honduran white bats are so cute that they've even been called living marshmallows. How small are these critters? Where do they live? And are they endangered? Honduran white bats are one of the two white bat species among the roughly 1,300 bat species. Typically, other bats are brown or black. The Honduran white bats are also one of the smallest frugivore bats, meaning they eat only fruit. Specifically, they only eat figs. Go figure. Researchers discovered that their diet of figs led to a buildup of carotenoid pigment, which gives their ears and noses their distinct bright orange-yellow color. What's more, Honduran white bats are the only mammal known to possess such an abundance of this chemical. The bat's ability to store carotenoid pigment has made scientists curious. Many researchers believe that learning more about this ability could lead to new treatments for avoiding a common and often untreatable eye disorder called macular degeneration. On average, these little creatures are about three to five centimeters long, and they weigh about five to six grams, about as much as one and a half teaspoons of sugar. Aw, so sweet. They enjoy the steamy rainforests of Central and South America, living in biodiverse countries like Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. They tend to inhabit areas that are up to 700 meters above sea level. Another of the bat's many unique attributes is their shelter. During the day, they huddle together beneath the leaves of heliconia plants in so-called leaf tents. To build these tents, the ingenious bats bite the plant's leaves to make them fold down. Heliconia plants are sensitive to movement, and they act as an alarm system when predators like snakes, owls, and possums come slinking around for a bite-sized white bat snack. In addition to keeping them safe from rain, wind, and parasites like bat flies, these leaf tents also provide camouflage. The sunlight filters through the leaves and makes their white fur appear green. Brilliant. But they don't always want to be camouflaged. The bat's white fur and orange ears and noses attract other bats when it's time to mate. And they use their sensitive leaf-shaped noses to communicate with other bats through touch and echolocation. Unfortunately, less canopy cover due to deforestation is radically changing the bat's environment. Even nature preserves, like La Selva, the largest reserve in Costa Rica for Honduran white bats, are threatened. Because of this habitat loss, often caused by agriculture and urban development, the Honduran white bat is rated a near-threatened species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. According to conservationists, there are no programs or legislation to help the adorable Honduran white bat. Their survival currently depends on environmental groups and governments halting deforestation and enacting reforestation. It would be a tragedy if the world lost this adorable living marshmallow. <laughs> but at least there's still hope. Come on, people, pull it together. Being fluffy, adorable, and making leaf tent houses is what Honduran white bats do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.